Coverage continues with Rick Ritter, an activist in the Freddie Gray protest and prominent local pastor, is arrested for his part in last week's demonstrations. Good morning. Well, Pastor Wesley West is facing several charges, including second degree assault and malicious destruction. Police say this stems from his actions at last week's protest during the first motions in the Freddie Gray case. Now, WJZ obtained cell phone video of West being taken into custody without incident at his church Wednesday evening. There, he was served with an arrest warrant. Baltimore City Police released this video taken by Foxtrot helicopter at last Wednesday's protest downtown. They say it shows West stopping traffic, standing in front of a car and slamming his megaphone on the hood of it. Police say Wes fled on foot as they tried to approach him, but they were able to later identify him through video and after the driver of that car came forward. He got in the street. He had a megaphone with him. He used that megaphone and slammed it on the hood of a vehicle that was coming down the street, stood directly in front of a vehicle while that vehicle was traveling down Pratt Street. Uh, Cause fear for the driver of that vehicle, actually terrorize the driver of that vehicle. We hope that people can look at the video and judge for themselves and just put one of their loved ones in the scenario that the person who was in that vehicle was in and make a judgment from that. Now, West is being charged with second degree assault, attempted riot, malicious destruction, disorderly conduct, disturbing the peace, failure to obey, false imprisonment, and a traffic violation as well. West, of course, is a prominent pastor in Baltimore, well known and respected throughout the area, a big voice for Baltimore since the death of Freddie Gray. Now, police say they'll continue to treat a riot like a riot and a protest like a protest, and what West did was a crime. They say it's not fair to the people who want their voices heard peacefully. Now, West's family says they have several protests planned for Thursday morning around the Mitchell Courthouse. Of course, the judge will decide whether or not the trial will stay in Baltimore City or be moved out of the city. Rick Ritter, WJZ Eyewitness News. Stay with WJZ for complete coverage of the Freddie Gray case. We'll bring you the very latest from inside the courtroom as the judge makes his decision today.